Beneath the veneer of skepticism, reality bears witness to chilling truths in the haunting corridors of history where shadows dance with undeniable evidence. Remember this, the stories are true. Prepare for a revelation where the supernatural is stripped of fiction and the unknown is laid bare. Are you ready to confront the undeniable? The stories are true and the echoes of reality await. Hey there, buckle up for a trip back to the 17th century where ghosts, battles, and a dash of comedy await us. So in the quaint village of Marston, there's this spooky battlefield called Marston Moor. Picture this, Oliver Cromwell, the cool cat of the English Civil War, bunked in the old hall the night before a big showdown in 1644. Rumor has it his ghost still RSVPS for overnight stays there. But wait, there's more. Since 1932, folks have been spotting ghostly groups of exhausted-looking dudes wandering around. They're believed to be the poor souls of royalist troops and cavaliers, probably regretting that last-minute decision to join the battle. Now let's talk numbers. Cromwell's cavalry went all ninja on the royalists, with 4,000 of them meeting their folly fallen fate. This clash, known as Marston Moor, is like the Avengers, in game of English history right up there with the Battle of Towton. Blood was spilled, scars were made, and the area has been haunted ever since. Fast forward to 1932, where two buddies out for a drive saw three guys in snazzy 17th century attire, big hats and all. But plot twist, when the car slowed down, poof, they vanished, leaving our friends bewildered. And it's not a one-time show. Similar sightings in 68 left tourists thinking they stumbled upon drunken actors. Nope. Turns out they were just 17th century fashionistas having a stroll on the battlefield. Now, enter Imogen Peck, the supernatural Sherlock of our story. She digs into archives and discovers that Yorkshire and the North were the odd ghost story hotspots post-Civil War. The new sheets back in the day ate these tales up like popcorn at a movie. One gem is a pamphlet from 1659 reporting exhaliatin in the air over Marston Moor. Picture fiery pillars, troops battling it out, and the Northern Army showing off their ghostly victory. Classic 17th century spin. Hey, it's just Parliament and His Highness kicking popish and foreign confederates. No biggie. And there you have it, Marston Moor, the ghostly runway of 17th century fashion, where battles were fought, legends were born, and fashion faux pas were forever etched into the ghostly archives. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this eerie adventure. If you enjoyed the chills, don't forget to subscribe. More mysteries await. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay curious.